What's up, everyone? This is Ben Falcons, Media Corner, back again with another AK After I Saw Review episode for today. This one's going to be on a film that came out this year in the UK. And this came out last month in the UK in cinemas, while this came out just two days ago in the US on Netflix. And I'm going to give you guys my views on this new release. So today's review is going to be my review on the 2022 war drama, and that movie is Operation Mince Meat. This was directed by John Madden, the man behind the best and second best exotic American hotel, as well as one of the most controversial Oscar-winning Best Picture films, which was Shakespeare in Love. And so this film is set in 1943 during six months of that, set during World War II, when we follow these two intelligent officers named Ewan and Charles, who are played by Colin Firth and Matthew McFadden. And they basically have, and basically they form a uh, a secret, like, intel secret, like, agency of group of sorts known as Operation Mince Meat, where they're about to face the most impossible challenge ever, which... They're about to hear about, they're about to um, show in this whole invasion of the Germans who are about to invade and prevent, you know, firepower massacres and stuff. And basically they're trying to figure out how to prevent all this from stop, trying to stop, prevent all that from happening, from, all that from happening. And so they, they figure out a way to do that is that they get a dead corpse and they put him in a British army uniform and they give, and they make fake documents to basically to basically um, fool the, um, the, um, the German troops and prevent all of this from happening as well as invading from as well as invading Greece. So that's pretty much the story of Operation Mince Meat. Yeah, the plot for this film is pretty convoluted really and it's kind of hard for me to explain but still though I was pretty interested seeing this one after seeing the few after seeing the trailers for this movie it did seem pretty interesting and the, and for hearing who the people who are in this movie it did seem pretty interesting it got me kind of more interested seeing this one it has Colin Firth, Matthew McFadden um kelly mcdonald and jason isaacs and um i didn't see this on opening day i, I want to see something else because i want to see the northman when it was released first in the uk um i went to see that and then i didn't know when i was going to go and see this because I, I was busy i was i was at work but i decided to see this at my job for free and i did manage to get myself a free ticket for um operation mince me which i still have here um, i was really lucky to get this one because before I was going to go go in to see this film, I did check out like the seats and seating areas and all that. And it was going to be really packed, so I finally managed to get myself a free ticket before before I I nearly I, before I nearly had the chance to see this film. So I like to say to my job, if you cinema, thank you so much for getting myself a free ticket for this film. And um, after watching Operation Mince Me, I definitely had a great time with this one. This was definitely a great war drama here. There's a few things to enjoy out of this film. Uh, the performances all around, I thought they were really pretty thrilling and they do have a bit of wit to them i thought everyone's great in the film like colin firth, colin firth and matthew mcfadden and i like the chemistry between the two leads when we do see them working together and trying to figure out what they can do to prevent this whole invasion and all that i thought that pretty i found that pretty interesting kelly mcdonald was also really good in the film and jason isaacs as well he was great in the film all the acting all around in this film are really good for the most part and the direction by john madden is is pretty unique on the whole 40s era in in London and other countries they shot this film for like the the settings in the film even when we get to see the whole the whole like secret um, like the whole underground of Operation Mince Meat which I found that pretty I, I thought looked really unique and like I said the costumes are great and and even for scenes that has expositions of when we see the characters you know talking like in dial lines of dialogue and on like figuring figuring out a plan on what to do with this whole um, German invasion thing that's going on and how to prevent all that from happening, which I found that I found most of the scenes have a bit of energy to them, which I kind of found that pretty, I found that pretty, pretty fast for myself because I didn't expect that to go fast because I like, usually for some scenes, movies like that nowadays, I kind of, I kind of find them a bit slow, kind of boring and it kind of makes you want to fall asleep. But this film did get got me interested for scenes like seeing scenes like that on, in this movie. The whole true storytelling of um, Operation Mince Me, like the behind the scenes of Operation Mince Me, as well as the whole the whole um, idea of what they were what they were doing with the um, with the whole corpse situation and all that I kind of found that pretty interesting. However, for subplot matters, that was my only nitpick I had with this film. That, that I kind of found that to be a negative aspect for this film for myself. Like this one involving there's one subplot that has a bit of romance to it, which I kind of found that bit uninteresting and it kind of bugged me in the film. And for some other subplot moments in the film, it does get pretty much a bit slow paced when it doesn't when it when it feels like the movie's out of energy and it just needs to slow down and all that, I kind of found that pretty much a bit slow, really. Even though it's not a slow burn film, it's only two hours and eight minutes. 
But in the end, guys, Operation Mince Me, I had a really great time with this one. It's definitely a great war drama. And this definitely could be one to watch with your grandpa, with your granddad or something, or even with your grandma. It definitely could be one for like all like for all people to see this movie, either on the big screen in the UK or watch on Netflix at home with either, either with your grandson or something. But like I could see I could see myself watching this maybe maybe watch this movie again, but with my grandma and granddad. <laughs> but just in the but in the end, guys. I had a great time at Operation Mids Me, and it's definitely one I can recommend you check out. If you missed a chance to see this in cinemas, it might get a physical release, I don't know, but we'll see how, what's going to happen. But in the US, it is available to stream on Netflix, so that's pretty much all I have to say about Operation Mids Me in the end. I'm going to give Operation Mids Meat 4 out of 5. Really good solid rating for great um, war drama. Despite having two little nitpicks, I still had a great time with this one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching for my AK After I Saw review on Operation Mince Me. Let me know what you think of this film if you have seen this already or if you've just recently seen it. Did you have a great time of it or was this not really a cu cup of tea? So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off.